In this video, I'm going to take a look at whether the Evans Repeater is now the best gun in the game following its introduction to Red Dead Online on the 5th of March. For the Evans Repeater to get this title, the Varmint Rifle nerf had to happen, and with that coming into play a week before this new Repeater gets introduced, we could see a new gun on the scene that starts to dominate the kill feed. In this video, I will be comparing the Evans Repeater to the best of the rest, which is, based on past research and general consensus, the Lancaster Repeater. Of course, different guns work better for some people, and I know the Bolt Action and Springfield are very popular for PvP, but based on a multitude of factors such as damage, fire rate and ammo capacity, the Lancaster is the best weapon to measure the Evans against. Like I did with my video on the Varmint Rifle from a while ago, this video will look at the gun objectively, and only at the end will I offer my opinion on the gun based on the facts discussed. Let's initially look at the factors in favour of the Evans Repeater being the best weapon in the game. The first is ammo capacity. With a massive 26 rounds in a magazine, this gun beats every other weapon in the game in terms of how many rounds it can hold, and subsequently has the benefit of you rarely having to reload. As the average life in Showdown series is relatively short, you may even be able to go an entire game without having to reload your gun, as when you respawn, you start with a full mag. Damage. The damage of the Evans Repeater is not as high as the Lancaster, but if you have a fully kitted out weapon with special ammo, you're looking at two shots to the torso from short to medium range. And for the most part, that is enough to kill an enemy. Of course, like all other guns in the game, it is a one-shot kill to the head. Based on the stats displayed on the Evans Repeater in-game, it has about 5% less damage than the Lancaster, so they are very close in terms of power. And both guns have enough power to get that two-shot kill to the torso. Of course, depending on range. Fire rate. Similar to the way the Varmint Rifle can empty all its rounds very quickly, the fire rate of the Evans Repeater is also very high. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Evans versus the Lancaster. From the moment of the very first shot to the moment of the fifth shot, you'll see the timings for each of these guns. So the Evans definitely beats the Lancaster here. And just a quick side note, of course both guns were clean at the time of recording this test. Both repeaters use the same ammunition, so there's no difference there. Now I want to go on to discuss the negatives of the rifle. The main issue with the gun that I've found, especially when comparing it to the Lancaster, is the outer circle on the sight, or the bloom, takes a bit of time to shrink. So despite the fact the fire rate is higher on the Evans, the gun doesn't return to an accurate firing state as quickly between shots as the Lancaster does. Here's another side by side, but as you can see, with both guns being fired as quickly as possible, the Lancaster bloom shrinks slightly before the next shot is fired, whereas the Evans stays at max bloom. The fact that outer circle stays so wide means the shot fired at this point will be more inaccurate when comparing it against the Lancaster landing anywhere within this circle. So the basic tactic of dragging up for a headshot is really negatively impacted due to this. Of course you can combat this with a slight pause before you fire the next shot, which is what you should do, but in a situation when you're firing as quickly as possible, for accuracy here, the Lancaster wins out with that faster shrinking bloom. Reload speed. Now as I said earlier in the video, the amount of rounds that Evans can hold means you rarely have to reload. Despite this, it's pretty difficult to train yourself out of automatically hitting reload after firing a few rounds. And when you do get to this point, that Evans is significantly slower at reloading than the Lancaster. An accurate and fair test when comparing the Evans and the Lancaster is to fire five rounds, and as soon as the fifth round leaves the gun, hit reload immediately, load back to max capacity, and fire again. And here is a side by side of the two repeaters doing just that. So when comparing the two guns at the exact point of hitting reload, you can see that Evans is a lot slower than the Lancaster. This is obviously a negative for the gun as the slower reload puts you at a real disadvantage when out in the field fighting other players. Cost. This is a minor point, but the Lancaster is also slightly cheaper than the Evans. If it's only one of the two that you can afford, you can save yourself a bit of cash by buying the Lancaster at $243 against the Evans at $300. Not a big difference, but definitely a point in favour of the Lancaster. Unreliability. I have found that the Evans repeater can become quite inaccurate at times. I find myself missing more headshots with the Evans than the Lancaster. This may just be me, but I've used the gun a lot and can only speak from experience. In my opinion, it is a really close call, but I still prefer the Lancaster as I find it more reliable and suitable for my playstyle. Although I will be swapping between the two as I may learn to adapt to the Evans after a little bit longer, as of course it does have its benefits. The large ammo capacity is perfect for the short lives and showdown series, it's a powerful gun, and let's be honest, it sounds unreal. It makes taking someone's head off way more satisfying when it's coupled with a decent sounding gunshot. So in my opinion, at this time, I don't think it is quite the best weapon in the game. It's definitely a good challenger, 
but I think the Lancaster still wins out here. I may change my mind in the future and I would love to know your thoughts on the gun, so please let me know. Either comment below or join the Discord server and let all of us know in there. The link to join is in the description. Following the recent update, I had a few things to get off my chest and if you wanted to hear me go on a little bit of a rant about it, then click the screen now or there is a link in the description. And subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the straight to the point style of this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.